Hello. Hello. Hello, is that Bar Scott Pristap? Pristap speaking, yes, Scott Pristap. Who am I, who am I aren't you? Uh, Your number my, appears private. My name is William Buchanan, and you emailed me some documents today. Oh, Mr. William, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm very good. Yeah, thank thank you for oh, saying Oh, welcome. Uh, good, good to hear from you. I wasn't expecting your call, you know. The thing is that your number does not appear in, it appears as a private number. It doesn't oh. show any number here. Okay, uh, I'm calling from the UK, so maybe it, it uh, doesn't show. Oh, show. from Edinburgh, from Edinburgh. Very yeah. good. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. You're yeah. welcome. So I have You're some, welcome. Welcome. I, ha I have some questions. So it says, okay, that, okay. Uh, the letter says that it's to do with a deceased customer called Clifford Fatos Buchanan who died in a yeah, plane, yeah, yeah. Plane, plane crash. Is that is that my, yes. my relative? Is that is that somebody that, that I I should know? Uh yes, of course. Um well uh, I, I did send you everything. Um Oh yeah. Uh, this is assumed, this is assumed to be your family relative because oh. I contacted you to that effect because I got I uh, I found your data your precisely contact detail as um, a relative, you know. So that was why I contacted you to that effect. Okay, and that's that's my uh, deceased cousin, my deceased cousin. Okay, that's your cousin. It's your cousin, is that, right? Is that right? Is that? Uh, he, is your cousin? He's he's my cousin. Is he? He he. Uh, you. You are the one I know. The only thing I know is that I yes. The only thing I know is that it should be a relative. I don't know if it's your cousin. Oh. Yeah, but I know it should be a relative. That's what I know. So oh, you are the one to say. You are the one who knows better your family I'm, and your I'm relationship so with the person. So I, I don't know. You tell me. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know he he died. Did, okay, did, Mr. William. Did my William, please. I would prefer you to. You have my email address. I prefer you to put down every question on email. Okay. So I can one by I go I go through your email and I respond to you completely whatever question you want to ask me. Okay. Oh, okay then. So it's so it's to do yeah, with I my you. it's to do with my cousin, and my cousin died in a in a plane crash, uh, and that that's fine. So I I will sign that, and then the other one, the other one, the High Court of Justice. What what do I have to do with with that one? A document attached there. Okay, and that's the Togo Minister, Ministry of Justice. And, and yes, the document should be for. I gave you instruction before those documents to the to the bank. I told you to forward it to the bank. Get in contact with the bank to, okay. to make a request for the claim, the claim of the fund, the amount of 3.5 million US dollars. I told you that. Okay then. And and what what will happen yeah. after after I sign the document? Will, will I receive the the money? Well, we are working on the process of getting the fund cleansed from the bank. Okay. The That's bank right. gave a notification. They gave a notice that a family relative should come come forward to put the claim on the fund. So that is the process we are in now. So okay. we got to get in contact with the bank, and then I am going to be here okay. to advise you or direct you or okay. ass assist you legally okay. to make sure that every process every process is followed and whatever the bank wants. Um, the documentations and all that uh, okay. to make sure that the, oh, you legally okay. claim the fund. Um, you know, those, those, that is exactly what we are working on right now. That is why I said we should get in contact with them for the application okay. and the documents to the bank. I gave you their email address. I think I did, I did give you their email address. Get in contact with them yeah, yeah. and they will, um, when they come back, when they get back to you. Okay. Uh, you forward whatever email you receive today from them, you forward it to me, to my okay. email. Yeah. I'm going to advise you. I'm going to respond to you, but you have to be very careful because if you don't have detailed information as they might require, you must wait until you hear from me before you can respond to them. Okay. So I can advise you on the most appropriate answer to give to them okay, then. to make sure that the claim is successful. Because if okay. anything goes wrong, okay. then they might not. Um, yeah, they wouldn't um, want to release the fund, but they want to make sure everything is legitimate oh, right. and then legally established. Oh, that that's great. You, you're a great help. Uh, and th then, will will I have to pay you a fee at, at, at the at the end? Uh, because it's 
once I get the 12 and a half million and then you take half, I, I have half, will, will I pay you some fee uh, at the end of that? Well, if you understand it this way, because um, from the detailed email I sent to you, um, that we could we could split it half and half okay. for yourself. You don't have to pay for my legal services because in this case, I'm going to be part of uh, we are, we are we are handling this as um, for instance a sort of partnership. Okay. Yeah. You and I, if you reach an understanding, yeah, we can handle this together. Okay. And uh, you don't have to pay any. You don't have to pay for my legal services. Okay. Um, you don't have to pay me. You don't have to pay me for my legal services. But what is important in this kind of transaction is that you must be sincere. Yeah. You must be, oh, and you want you must make sure that as soon as the fund comes into your bank account here in Edinburgh, yeah. you can send me a letter of a letter of invitation okay. to uh, apply for a visa, so I can come over there and meet with you because. I don't want to get my own share over here. I want to. I want to get it over there, then I can come over there and possibly open an offshore account here in the UK. Okay. Um, here you can transfer my own part of the fund, in, and that is the way we're going to do it. Okay, that's great. So everything when okay. it comes to legal services and all these legal services and all that, I'm going to take care of all that. Okay. But you must not allow the bank to know that I am the one providing you with information. Okay. So I have to be an, a neutral. I have to be a neutral person, okay. and I have to completely work as uh, an advocate representing the family, and that's all. Okay. So the bank must not know anything about me having okay. a share in this deal. Okay. And then whatever it is the bank requires, for instance, maybe the taxes, because definitely they can be pay us the internal revenue services okay. to make some tax clearance and then get some necessary documentation from the Ministry of Finance and the um, Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And also the or some other you know parastatals, but they might be needing the approval within the police the police department. Okay. So to get all this thing, all these okay. declarations done, then it's gonna cost some funds, some it's really gonna cost some some fees, which you and I will see how we can handle okay. together. Okay. So so you I'll have I can to, we're gonna see I, how we can handle it. Okay then. So so I'll have to pay a fee then, uh, and then you handle that for me. I, I'll give you that fee and then you'll pay for all these other things that that need to happen is that is we that... are whatever it is when the time comes yeah. i'm not asking you to pay anything to me yeah all right i'm not asking you to pay anything to me for my services you must understand what i'm saying now yeah. because that is not my problem my legal services is not my problem my concern yeah. is getting this transaction successfully completed okay. and you assuring that you are going to keep 50% of that amount. Okay. Personally, you are going to make a personal agreement. You okay. and I are going to make an agreement. Okay. Yes, you are going to endorse it that as soon as this phone comes in, you're not going to tamper with it until I come over there. Yeah, okay. You and I are going to sign the agreement, yes. You and I are going to sign the agreement that as soon as this phone comes in there, you are keeping half of these funds for me yeah. while you're going to use half. Half okay. is for yourself and half is for myself. Okay. So when I come in there, then you just me. I'm going to open an account over there, and then you transfer my own part of the amount to my own offshore account. I'm not. In I don't want the money to be here in the room. I want okay. it over there. Okay. So so I'll take okay. I'll take money from my account, even before the money you transfer uh, into the account, the twelve and a half million. Uh, I'll move money from my account to your account in the UK and pay you and then you'll make sure that the 12 or the 12 million comes into the account here my account and then i'll give you the i didn't say you should pay me yeah i didn't say you should pay me too you don't have to pay me for anything okay i didn't say you should pay me too so you must understand this yeah okay yeah i didn't say you should pay me i said this is i'm not the one to make the transfer it is the bank Okay. I'm only here to work to support you because moving funds from such bank accounts from a deceased, uh, from account of a deceased client requires a lot of documentation, police clearance and police declaration, yeah. court declaration, declaration from court of claim and all the property registry and the, the Department of Internal Revenue and all that. So it, it's a process that we must go through and have to, it has to go legally. and. I don't have to be directly involved. I have to be okay. working as 
simply as your attorney. I can't be working as a as a uh, as a participant. Okay. I have to be representing as your attorney precisely if it is possible for you to come over here in person and I will accompany you to the bank to bank out the, the branch or the branch office of the bank. You and I will always go, then I will always come and stand stand out as your attorney. That that wouldn't be a problem. I would love that. So if there are charges for you to pay, you make the payment there by yourself and collect the draft copies. You make the payment in the office, right inside the office, and you then we take the draft the draft copies and the receipts and we present them where we're supposed to present them and we have everything done within two weeks or there about we can finish up everything. So this is what this is the way I would have preferred this whole thing to go. Not me. Even if it is something I'm going to support you with some funds to pay some fees, then I bring I bring out the fund and I give to you. If I bring that from my account, I give you then you can pay in person. You identify yourself, present the copy of your ID and you make the payments if there is need for such. So this is the way I like to work. I didn't say you should pay me anything. I don't need your ID. I'm not asking you to pay me anything. You don't have to pay me anything. Okay. And and what I do is I pay the bank, which is the which is the B T C I T G L dot com bank. So I'll pay them money. I'll pay Mr The bank does not charge money. The bank does not charge money to release yeah. inheritance. Yeah. The bank yeah. doesn't receive they don't collect money from people to release money to and it doesn't happen anywhere in the world. Okay. What happens is that to get you know to get some documentations to which gives you the beneficiary status. There are some there are some documentations that must be procured to get you the real beneficiary status because right now there is no will presented to the bank. Do you have any copy of the will? No, I didn't know he he very he, good. So he was dead. You see what I'm saying? What I'm talking about? Yeah. So this process requires detailed legal actions to be taken. And the declarations should be procured. Those are things we need. Not paying money. You don't pay even if you pay 100 million to the bank. It will not release the 12 and a half million to the bank. The bank will not release 12 and a half million. Yeah. Even if you pay 100 million, it won't release the money in the bank. What is going to release the funds, allow you access to the fund, is the legal documentations that will cost, that will authorize the bank to cause the effect of release of the funds to you okay. as a beneficiary. What is going to be speaking is what is going to be speaking is legal documentation and not money. If you like pay one hundred million, yeah. the twelve and a half million won't come out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I, I understand. I, I will go and email the, the bank just now and then I'll wait for you to, to get back in contact with me. Okay? Thank you. When they get back to you yeah. when they get back to you Make sure you forward your response to me. Okay. And I will always advise you because any mistake you made, if you make any mistake, then the bank is going to start questioning yeah. the authenticity of who is communicating with them. They are very, very careful here, especially oh. because of a lot of there are a lot of frauds going on. Oh, oh is fraud, that? Oh. fraud. Yeah, yeah. Fraud everywhere. Terrorism. Oh, yeah. uh, cases of cases oh. of stolen identity. Oh, this is of story identity oh. and all that. So that is why I say if it were possible, people could take steal people's information and then try to come over I mean try to claim people's money. Probably they could collaborate with some collaborate with some fraudulent bankers and do all that. So that is why I said if it is possible for you to step over come down here in person, okay. Then yeah. that would have been the best. Then you can make you can make all verifications, you can see everything for yourself. You don't have to okay. speak so much because Yep. Yeah, that is what I'm saying. Okay. In that case, the bank will see you in person, okay. and then they know that yeah, they are dealing with ah. uh, a real person, someone who is um, if it is possible for you. But if it is not possible, yeah. the alternative way is to make a a, a letter of uh, power of attorney. So okay. in that case, yeah. which is going to indicate that you are not coming in person due to certain reasons, and then. Okay. Okay, that's great. I understand. Right. Okay, then. Right. I'll speak to you soon. Then. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. You're welcome. And one more thing. Hold on, yeah. please. Okay. Hold on. Oh, one question. Why are you calling with a hidden number? Uh, I I call over Skype. It's it's uh, it doesn't cost me. It would Skype? cost me lots of money. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. To to call okay. you from my it's mobile phone. So I I call over Skype. Okay. Okay.
Thank you. Okay, so should I want to should I want to reach you? It to be reasonable. You send me a more direct mobile phone number so I can yeah. There is need for me to reach you directly. Yeah, that, so sounds, that sounds great. You know, okay. 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 Thank you. Bye okay. bye. Bye. You have a, you have a wonderful day. Bye.